Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In the Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 8 and verse 7, we have the bride speaking to the groom, uh, saying, Many waters cannot quench love, nor will rivers overflow it. If a man were to give all the riches of his house for love, it would be utterly despised. And so here the bride is describing love and some aspects of love. For one, love is so alive and burning that you cannot quench it. Secondly, that love is so deep that the rivers can't overflow it. And then also that love is so expensive that if someone were to give all their riches, all the riches of their house for love, uh, it would be despised. It wouldn't be um, seen as given very much for it because love is so expensive. And so in this one verse, we learn three things about love. We see that it is alive, it is deep, and it is valuable. And this is the description that the bride gives in connection to her relationship with the groom and really in speaking about love in general. And certainly this is something that we can learn about uh, human love. Love between a, a spouse, a wife towards her husband, or a husband towards his wife. Or we could also uh, relate this to, the, to familial love that perhaps a father might have for a child, or a child might have for the father or the mother towards the child, the child toward the mother. Uh, for a lot of human relationships, uh, that you know, true love is something that cannot be quenched. It cannot be overwhelmed or uh, overflowed because of it, its depth. And it's something that cannot be paid for with money. And we know this in our human relationships. Whenever we really experience love, uh, whenever we see love in its purest form, love in its most uh, vivid form, we can see that this is definitely true. Love is that one thing that we have that outlasts time, that outlasts uh, circumstances, hardships. It's the one thing that endures. A person might lose everything that they have, but they can still hold on to love. Uh, love is uh, just has that type of nature to it. And certainly we see this between uh, human beings. But this word for love is not only used for human love in the Hebrew scriptures, but uh, it's also used for divine love towards God's people. In Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 8, uh, there the same Hebrew word is used to describe God's love for his people. And so we could even see that the divine love is the same. It is alive and unquenchable. It is so deep you can't overwhelm it. And it's, it's really so valuable that you can't purchase it. And that's what we find through Jesus Christ. Through the love that we have demonstrated to us through Jesus Christ, we see this uh, in its most vivid form. We see that Christ's love for us endured the flame, or endured, I'm sorry, the many waters that would try to quench the flame. But his love was alive to the point that he even went through the waters of death to prove his love and to show his love and to demonstrate his love for us. And so his love was alive and unquenchable even going through the waters of death. But his love for us is also very deep. Uh, it's deep. It's not a superficial love. It's not a love that uh, kind of comes and goes, that uh, a person might uh, overwhelm it and uh, cause it to be hidden away. But it's a love that is very deep and that can take in all the sorrows and hardships and trials that humanity suffers and is able to take it in without overflowing its banks. It's a deep abiding love. It's a love that's as deep as the ocean, uh, as we often say. And then it's also a love that is very valuable. Uh, there's no amount of money that we could pay for Christ's love for us. Uh, there's no amount of sacrifice we could give to repay the love that Christ has for us. His love for us goes beyond monetary value any type of value we might place on anything on this earth. It's a very valuable and precious love. And so if we can remember this, if we can remember that Christ loved us in such a way, he loved us even um, to the point of dying on the cross. He loved us in such a deep abiding way. He loved us so much that 
Uh, we can't put a price tag on it. We understand really just how much Christ loves us. It helps us in the hard times. In Romans chapter 8, the Apostle Paul said, you know, if if all of these different things were to happen to us, you know, peril, sword, famine, uh, whatever it might be, we are more than conquerors because of God's love for us through Jesus Christ. And that love is what allows us to become conquerors. And it's this type of love that allows it to be so. And so as we read the Song of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 7, and we read about the love described by the bride towards her groom. Let's think about, yes, the human love that we have with other people that has these same similar attributes. But ultimately, let's think about the love of God through Jesus Christ that we have experienced and understand it in these various aspects so that we can uh, appreciate the love that God has for us and that we can be encouraged in those hard times to know that God still loves us, that we are conquerors because of his love for us, and that we can keep going because we have a God that loves us in such a way. So these are some things we can reflect on and think about as we do a reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.